welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to be talking about why is there fud around pgv and what's been happening with the whole situation so first off i want to say that i'm not funding the project at all you've seen i've been documenting the project daily i have a large investment in pgv so i want a success for the project however i want to touch on a few things some people have been voicing etc and kind of have this as like a discussion video because again this is pre-recorded i'm recording this on friday march 3rd going out uh, uploading on saturday because i am away but this is more like a discussion video to share your thoughts but i have to do the normal disclaimer as well that nothing in this video is financial advice please always do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose so the first thing i want to do in this video is actually invest so the thing with PGV is once you have a refund, again, you can do a refund automatically after 15 days of your deposit. But once you've done a refund, that wallet you have does get banned from the contract. For example, if I actually swap to my main wallet here, we can see I have 500 USDC claimable and a $5,000 deposit. But for example, say I wanted to take my $5,000 out from PGV and I reply, um, request a refund i then can't re-enter the contract with the same wallet and would need to use a secondary wallet so for example i could say take up my initial five thousand dollars and then want to deposit my two thousand three hundred because that's basically then would be playing with house money but i couldn't do this with the same wallet i would need to have a second wallet in the contract and send the funds over to that which is perfectly fine however there were, have been some messages in the Discord saying that once the refunds are done, the contract won't be allowing any new investors. This is new investors, not a investment amount as of yet. So pretty much you would need to be in the contract by March 10th. Again, this day I saw thrown around in Discord, but I can't find the post. So it's not 100% confirmed. But at some point there will be an investor cap where no new users can enter the contract. So even if you've been in the contract and you've gotten a refund, your new wallet won't be allowed to enter PGV. So that is why I'm actually going to do a deposit on a separate wallet, just of $100 for minimum, just to make sure I have a second wallet in PGV. So of course, first I need to give permission for the well, approval for my 100 uh, USDC, and then we will go ahead with the deposit. So why am I doing this? Again, I want a second wallet in PGV. So if I ever get a refund on my main wallet, I have a second wallet already in the contract, which I can add funds to. Because again, the PGV team have said, users already in the contract after this date that they stop allowing new users. If you're already in, you will be able to increase your deposit. It just won't be in new users allowed. So that's why I'm doing a deposit on a separate wallet just to allow myself to be able to, um, of course, get in more if I eventually get a refund on my main wallet. So now we can see 100 USDC on this secondary wallet. In terms of claims and stuff, again, it's 50 USDC minimum. I'm not too fussed about claiming that, etc. This is more just securing a spot in the contract if I ever want to get a refund on my main wallet. So we'll switch back to the main wallet now, because for example, there's been some FUD and with the refund, etc. As we can see, the contract balance is sitting, it's not crazy low, but it's under 1 million USDC, which is already kind of hovered above. And Manny, there was a post in the USDC announcements where they, here we can see, um, again, the uh, exit gem hunt slash self refunds might be fine by the time you're seeing this video, but at the time of recording, Refunds have actually been paused while well, automatic refunds on the contract. The reason for this is because they're, of course, doing all of the refunds from other contracts and pulling from one account to add more funds. So basically, they're going to do all of the refunds and then the funds they have left from the different networks will all be pulled together and pumped back into the balance of the USDC. Again, they can't do both of these at the same time. So they don't want the contract to obviously drain while they don't have the funds to pump back in to be ready. So that's fair enough. But that I kind of 
is one of the reasons people have been fudding. Again, I'm not fudding the project. I'm just pointing or showing you guys some of the facts. So for example, the BSC um, contract, there are some large wallets already that haven't had their refunds yet. And when we say large wallets, we talk big. For example, this one wallet here hasn't received a full refund yet. And the active deposit is $770,000. Again, I can't confirm if this June is 100% accurate, but by the looks of it, this wallet has not had a refund. They started with a free, well, 294,000 deposit, reinvested 475,000. They hadn't done any withdrawals and now they're getting a refund well, they will be for $770,000. Here you have another wallet, which active deposit is 611,000. You have a 400,000, another 400,000. So those four wallets alone, is $2 million. Then we have some $200,000 wallets. So that's another million. Then we have a $370,000 wallet and some more free, like these are huge, huge, huge wallets. And just these wallets alone, has got to be over $5 million plus in refunds. Again, these wallets will get the refunds. My thought is that depending on how the gem bots, etc., the actual bot program has performed, I know the old contract was 2% per day, which of course they've canceled because it needs to be variable because that's how real trading works. Some days your rewards might be high, some days your rewards might be low. So my view again i'm not fudding but i just think that in order to pay these users out they're going to need to of course take from some of the new profits the bot is generating i'm not saying it's ponzi that they're using new users funds i'm just saying the rewards from the gem bots for example we can see they're trading with 12 million dollars some of this either the funds or the earnings will probably be needed to pay these investors back Again, I don't know how many funds were left in the old contracts, but there is a large amount that needs to be paid to these users. So that was, I guess, that's one reason why people are fudding, in my opinion. The second reason is the bot presale that's going out today. Well, in my, I think the bot presale will already be out by the time this video is live. But with the bot presale, of course, if you can then run the bot yourself, people might be incentivized to, of course, withdraw their investment to run it themselves. Again, for me personally, I'm not going to move my $5,000 into the bot myself. I'll probably just test it with maybe a thousand. But since you can't do a partial refund, I would have to refund the full amount, which is, of course, why I've set up a second wallet so I can re-enter the contract. And again, just these two FUD factors joining up with people who are still waiting on refunds who think Manny's a scammer is kind of the whole FUD situation with PGV. And also we had that MetaMask phishing thing happening with the website. But I think that is all fixed now. But again, I want to say I'm not funding the project. Again, you've been seeing me document the project. I want it to succeed. But in this video, I'm just kind of stating some facts and sharing why people might be fudding and kind of their views behind it but let me know your thoughts down below on the project again don't be hateful in the comments but if you have a key of you express it and we'll see what everybody thinks but yeah thank you all for watching hope you enjoy i'll be back tomorrow with another daily update so stay tuned for that and i'll see you in my next video